While the BLM tries to get the horse population under control, others are working to bring the gray wolf back to our state. Tonight, a well-known player pushing for that change in the West made a stop at CU Denver. CBS 4's Karen Morfitt set in on the discussion and has reaction from those against it. The topic of wolf reintroduction is heating up here in Colorado, so no surprise this lecture room filled up quickly both with supporters and those against the idea. There's much to be debated about the re-entry of wolves into Colorado, and the discussion took center stage at CU Denver. I'm not here to lobby anybody to vote any particular way. That's up to Coloradans. I'm here to share what I understand to be reliable science. Montana Senator Mike Phillips is a wolf advocate and wolf biologist who works with the Rocky Mountain Wolf Project, a group pushing for the reintroduction to Colorado to be put on the ballot in 2020. Coloradans don't have a recent history with the species, so it's easy for some people to imagine the worst. Phillips' lecture focused on why he believes the gray wolf could help Colorado. They can improve the ecological health of a setting. Gray wolves can help restore Colorado's natural balance. A point that raised questions among those in attendance about the impact to other wildlife as well as livestock. Concerns the Colorado Farm Bureau says their members have as well. Farmers and ranchers, cattlemen, sheep producers in the western part of the state are significantly concerned uh, about the potential impacts of wolves preying on livestock. Sean Martini, a spokesperson for the group, says this has been discussed before. The, the proponents are going to come with what they call science. We've got existing science, and it says it's not appropriate to reintroduce this species into Colorado. For Phillips, the hope is his lecture can add to that discussion. The Rocky Mountain Wolf Action Fund is currently trying to get enough signatures to get this on the 2020 ballot, while opponents say that the gray wolf is actually managed federally and that they would likely have the final say even if this were to pass here in Colorado. In Denver, Karen Morfitt covering Colorado First.